Makeup for Tomboy Style Makeup for Tomboy Style is all about keeping it simple, yet bold. It's a style that is perfect for those who want to look effortlessly beautiful without trying too hard. If you're someone who prefers a minimalistic approach to makeup and fashion, this is the look for you. The first step in achieving the tomboy look is to focus on your skin. A good skincare routine is crucial for achieving a natural, glowing complexion. Make sure to cleanse your face twice a day, moisturize, and use a sunscreen to protect your skin from the sun's harmful rays. Once you have a good skincare routine in place, it's time to move on to makeup. For tomboy makeup, you want to keep it simple and understated. Start with a lightweight foundation or tinted moisturizer that matches your skin tone. You don't want anything too heavy or cakey, as it will look out of place with the rest of your tomboy look. If you have any blemishes or dark circles, use a concealer to cover them up. Next, add a bit of color to your cheeks with a cream blush or bronzer. These formulas tend to look more natural than powder products, and will give you a subtle flush of color. Apply it to the apples of your cheeks and blend it out towards your temples. For your eyes, keep it simple with neutral shades. Use a light beige or taupe eyeshadow all over your lid and blend it out towards your brow bone. If you want to add a bit of definition, you can use a brown or black eyeliner to line your upper lash line. Curl your lashes and apply a coat or two of mascara to finish the look. For your brows, you want to keep them natural looking. Use a brow gel or pencil to fill in any sparse areas and brush them upwards for a more defined look. Avoid using a harsh, heavy hand when filling in your brows as it can look out of place with the rest of your tomboy look. Finally, finish off your look with a bold lip color. You want to choose a shade that complements your skin tone and adds a pop of color to your face. Go for a matte finish or a sheer lip stain for a more natural look. If you're not a fan of bright lip colors, you can always opt for a nude or brown shade. Now that you know the basics of tomboy makeup, let's talk about some tips and tricks to take your look to the next level. One of the best ways to enhance your tomboy look is by playing up your natural features. If you have beautiful eyes, use a bit of mascara and eyeliner to make them stand out. If you have full lips, opt for a bold lip color to draw attention to them. Another tip is to choose makeup products that are long-wearing and waterproof. This will ensure that your makeup stays in place throughout the day, even if you're active or sweating. When it comes to makeup brushes, keep it simple. You only need a few basic brushes to achieve the tomboy look. A foundation brush, blush brush, and eyeshadow brush are all you need. Make sure to clean your brushes regularly to avoid bacteria buildup and breakouts. If you're someone who wears glasses, there are a few tips to keep in mind when applying makeup. First, make sure to curl your lashes to avoid them hitting your lenses. 
You can also use a bit of mascara on the tips of your lashes to give them a bit of lift. For your eyeshadow, stick to neutral shades and avoid anything too shimmery or glittery, as it can reflect light and create a distracting glare. When it comes to choosing the right makeup products for tomboy style, it's important to stick with neutral and earthy tones. These shades are perfect for achieving a natural, effortless look that complements your tomboy style. For eyeshadow, stick with shades like beige, taupe, and brown. These colors are versatile and can be used to create both subtle and more dramatic looks. When it comes to lips, you have a lot of options. A bold red lip can be a great way to add a pop of color to your tomboy makeup look. If you prefer something more subtle, a nude or brown lip color can be a great choice. Just be sure to choose a shade that complements your skin tone. Another important factor to consider when it comes to tomboy makeup is your skin type. If you have oily skin, you may want to opt for a matte foundation or tinted moisturizer to help control shine. If you have dry skin, a hydrating foundation or tinted moisturizer can help keep your skin looking dewy and fresh. One of the best things about tomboy makeup is that it's low maintenance. You don't need a lot of products or tools to achieve this look. Just a few key products and brushes are all you need to create a beautiful, natural looking makeup look that complements your tomboy style. When it comes to applying your makeup, start with a clean, moisturized face. Apply a lightweight foundation or tinted moisturizer, and use a concealer to cover any blemishes or dark circles. Next, apply a cream blush or bronzer to your cheeks, and use a neutral eyeshadow shade to create a natural looking eye makeup look. If you want to add a bit of definition to your eyes, you can use a brown or black eyeliner to line your upper lash line. Curl your lashes and apply a coat or two of mascara to finish the look. Finally, choose a bold lip color that complements your skin tone, and apply it with a lip brush for a precise, polished finish. Skin Care Products for Dry Skin Dry skin can be frustrating, uncomfortable, and even painful at times. Finding the right skincare products for dry skin can be a challenge, but with the right approach and knowledge. It is possible to create an effective skincare routine that leaves your skin looking and feeling its best. The first step in any skincare routine for dry skin is to use gentle, hydrating cleansers that do not strip the skin of its natural oils. Look for cleansers that are labeled as gentle or hydrating and avoid those that contain harsh detergents or alcohol. A good rule of thumb is to look for cleansers that have a creamy texture, as these tend to be more moisturizing than foaming cleansers. Some popular cleansers for dry skin include Cetaphil Gentle Skin Cleanser, CeraVe Hydrating Facial Cleanser, and La Roche-Posay Toleriana Hydrating Gentle Cleanser. After cleansing, it's important to tone the skin to remove any remaining impurities and prepare it for the next steps in your routine. However, many toners can be drying, so it's important to choose one that is formulated for dry skin. Look for toners that contain hydrating ingredients like glycerin or hyaluronic acid, and avoid those that contain alcohol or witch hazel, as these can be drying. Some good toners for dry skin include Kiehl's Ultra Facial Toner, Thayer's Alcohol-Free Rose Petal Witch Hazel Toner, 
and the ordinary glycolic acid 7% toning solution. Once your skin is cleansed and toned, it's time to moisturize. Moisturizing is crucial for dry skin, as it helps to lock in hydration and prevent moisture loss. When choosing a moisturizer for dry skin, look for one that is rich and nourishing, with ingredients like shea butter, cocoa butter, or squalane. It's also important to choose a moisturizer that is non-comedogenic, meaning it won't clog your pores and cause breakouts. Some popular moisturizers for dry skin include Drunk Elephant Lala Retro Whip Cream, First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream, and Walita Skin Food. In addition to your daily moisturizer, it's important to use a heavier, more intensive moisturizer at night to help repair and rejuvenate your skin while you sleep. Night creams are typically thicker and more emollient than daytime moisturizers, and they often contain ingredients like retinol or peptides to help boost collagen production and improve skin texture. Some good night creams for dry skin include Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream, Olay Regenerous Night Recovery Cream, and Sunday Riley Luna Sleeping Night Oil. In addition to your basic skincare routine, there are several other products that can be beneficial for dry skin. For example, face oils can be a great way to add extra hydration and nourishment to your skin. Look for oils that are lightweight and non-greasy, such as jojoba oil, argan oil, or rosehip oil. You can apply face oil after your moisturizer, or you can mix a few drops into your moisturizer for added hydration. Some popular face oils for dry skin include the Ordinary 100% Cold Pressed Virgin Marula Oil, Biosant Squalene Plus Vitamin C Rose Oil, and Herbivore Botanicals Lapis Facial Oil. Another product that can be beneficial for dry skin is a hydrating serum. Serums are lightweight, fast-absorbing liquids that contain a high concentration of active ingredients. Hydrating serums typically contain ingredients like hyaluronic acid or glycerin, which help to attract and retain moisture in the skin. You can use a hydrating serum after cleansing and ton. Any information? In addition to face oils and hydrating serums, using a facial mist can also be helpful for dry skin. Facial mists are a quick and easy way to add a burst of hydration to your skin throughout the day. Look for mists that contain hydrating ingredients like aloe vera, rose water, or chamomile, and avoid those that contain alcohol, as this can be drying. Some good facial mists for dry skin include Mario Badescu Facial Spray with Aloe, Cucumber, and Green Tea, Herbivore Botanicals Rose Hibiscus Hydrating Face Mist, and Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. Exfoliating can also be beneficial for dry skin, as it helps to remove dead skin cells and improve skin texture. However, it's important to choose a gentle exfoliant that won't be too harsh on your skin. Look for exfoliants that contain small, gentle particles like sugar or jojoba beads, and avoid those that contain large, abrasive particles like apricot kernels. You can use an exfoliant once or twice a week after cleansing and toning. Some good exfoliants for dry skin include Fresh Sugar Face Polish, First Aid Beauty Facial Radiance Polish and Dermalogica Daily Microfoliant. In addition to using the right skincare products, there are several other steps you can take to keep your dry skin healthy and hydrated. One important step is to drink plenty of water throughout the day. When you're dehydrated, your skin can become dry and flaky, so staying hydrated is key to maintaining healthy skin. Another step is to avoid hot showers and baths, as hot water can strip your skin of its natural oils and make it even drier. Instead, try taking lukewarm showers or baths, and limit your time in the water. Finally, it's important to protect your skin from the sun's harmful rays. Sun damage can be particularly harmful to dry skin, as it can cause further dehydration and premature aging. To protect your skin, wear a broad-spectrum sunscreen with an SPF of at least 30 every day, even on cloudy or overcast days. 
You can also wear protective clothing, such as long-sleeved shirts or hats, to shield your skin from the sun. Another important step to take for dry skin is to ensure that you are using the right type of makeup products. Some makeup products can be particularly drying for the skin, so it's important to choose products that are specifically formulated for dry skin. Look for foundations and concealers that are hydrating and contain moisturizing ingredients like hyaluronic acid or glycerin. Avoid using powder-based products like setting powders or bronzers, as these can be particularly drying for the skin. It's also important to pay attention to the ingredients in your skincare products, particularly if you have sensitive skin. Some common ingredients like fragrances, sulfates, and alcohol can be particularly irritating and drying for the skin. Instead, look for products that are labeled as fragrance-free, sulfate-free, and alcohol-free to minimize any potential irritation. Another tip for dry skin is to incorporate a face mask into your skincare routine. Face masks are a great way to give your skin an extra boost of hydration and nourishment. Look for masks that contain ingredients like hyaluronic acid, honey, or avocado, which are all known for their hydrating properties. You can use a face mask once or twice a week, depending on your skin's needs. Lastly, it's important to be patient when building a skincare routine for dry skin. It may take some trial and error to find the right combination of products that work for you. Additionally, it's important to give your skin time to adjust to new products and to not introduce too many new products at once. How to take care of your face when in a dry environment Taking care of your skin is crucial, especially when you are in a dry environment. Dry air can strip away the natural oils on your skin, leading to dryness, itchiness, and flakiness. Moreover, dry skin is more prone to wrinkles and fine lines, making you look older than your actual age. Therefore, it is essential to adopt a skincare routine that keeps your face hydrated and moisturized. In this article, we will discuss some tips to take care of your face when in a dry environment. Hydrate yourself. One of the primary reasons for dry skin is dehydration. When you are not drinking enough water, your skin becomes dehydrated making it look dull and lifeless. Therefore, it is essential to keep yourself hydrated throughout the day. Drink at least 8 glasses of water every day. You can also include other hydrating beverages like coconut water, herbal teas, and fresh juices. Use a gentle cleanser. When you are in a dry environment, it is essential to use a gentle cleanser to avoid stripping away the natural oils from your skin. Look for a cleanser that is free from harsh chemicals, fragrances, and alcohol. Use lukewarm water to wash your face instead of hot water, which can further dry out your skin. Exfoliate regularly. Exfoliating your skin removes dead skin cells that can clog your pores and lead to breakouts. However, when you are in a dry environment, it is important to choose an exfoliator that is gentle and does not strip away the natural oils from your skin. You can use a physical exfoliator like a scrub or a chemical exfoliator like glycolic acid or salicylic acid. However, do not exfoliate more than twice a week. Apply a moisturizer. Moisturizing your skin is essential, especially when you are in a dry environment. A good moisturizer helps to lock in the moisture in your skin, keeping it hydrated and plump. Look for a moisturizer that contains hydrating ingredients like hyaluronic acid, glycerin, or ceramides. 
Apply your moisturizer immediately after cleansing your skin and before applying any other skincare product. Use a humidifier. A humidifier adds moisture to the air, which can be helpful when you are in a dry environment. Dry air can further dry out your skin, causing it to become dehydrated and itchy. Therefore, consider investing in a humidifier to add moisture to the air in your room. You can also use a facial mist throughout the day to keep your skin hydrated. Wear sunscreen. UV rays from the sun can damage your skin, causing it to become dry and dehydrated. Therefore, it is essential to wear sunscreen every day, even when you are indoors. Look for a sunscreen that is at least SPF 30 and protects your skin from both UVA and UVB rays. Apply your sunscreen 20 minutes before you step out and reapply every 2 hours. Avoid hot showers. Hot showers can strip away the natural oils from your skin, making it dry and itchy. Therefore, it is important to take lukewarm showers instead of hot showers. Limit your shower time to 10 to 15 minutes and avoid using harsh soaps or body washes that can further dry out your skin. After taking a shower, pat your skin dry instead of rubbing it vigorously with a towel. Eat a healthy diet. Your diet plays a crucial role in maintaining healthy skin. When you are in a dry environment, it is important to eat a diet that is rich in hydrating foods like fruits and vegetables. Include foods that are high in healthy fats like avocado, nuts, and fatty fish, as they help to nourish your skin from the inside out. Moreover, avoid consuming too much caffeine, alcohol, and processed foods, as they can dehydrate your skin. Use a face mask. Using a face mask can help to hydrate and nourish your skin, especially when you are in a dry environment. Look for a face mask that contains hydrating ingredients like aloe vera, honey, or oatmeal. Apply your face mask once a week or as needed, depending on the condition of your skin. Don't overdo skin care. While it is important to take care of your skin, it is equally important not to overdo it. Overusing skincare products can cause your skin to become irritated and further dehydrated. Therefore, it is important to stick to a simple skincare routine and only use products that are suitable for your skin type. Additionally, it is important to remember that different skin types require different approaches to skincare. If you have oily or acne prone skin, you may need to choose products that are specifically formulated for your skin type, such as oil free moisturizers or non comedogenic sunscreens. Conversely, if you have sensitive skin, you may need to choose products that are fragrance free and contain fewer ingredients. Furthermore, it is important to be mindful of other factors that can contribute to dry skin, such as harsh weather conditions or air pollution. In addition to following a skincare routine, it may be helpful to wear protective clothing, such as hats and scarves, when outdoors. Similarly, avoiding exposure to smoke and other pollutants can help to minimize the risk of skin damage and dryness. Finally, it is important to be patient when it comes to skin care. Results may not be immediately apparent, and it may take some time to find the right products and routine for your skin type. Be gentle with your skin, and avoid harsh scrubbing or exfoliating, which can further irritate and dehydrate the skin. Instead, adopt a gentle approach and listen to your skin's needs. In addition to the above tips, 
It is important to pay attention to your daily habits and lifestyle choices. For instance, excessive stress levels can contribute to skin dryness and other skin issues. Therefore, incorporating stress-reducing practices such as yoga, meditation, or deep breathing exercises can help to maintain skin health. Furthermore, getting enough sleep is vital for healthy skin, especially when in a dry environment. During sleep, your skin repairs and rejuvenates itself, which is essential for maintaining its moisture barrier. Aim to get at least 7 to 8 hours of sleep each night to support your skin health. Sharing experiences on skin care for people who often go outdoors. Taking care of your skin is important, especially for those who spend a lot of time outdoors. Exposure to the sun, wind, and other environmental factors can cause damage and premature aging. As someone who has spent a lot of time outdoors, I have learned a few things about skin care that I would like to share. Sunscreen is a must. The sun's ultraviolet, UV, rays can damage your skin and lead to premature aging, wrinkles, and even skin cancer. That's why it's important to wear sunscreen every day, even on cloudy days. Look for a broad-spectrum sunscreen that protects against both UV and UVB rays with at least SPF 30. Apply sunscreen at least 15 minutes before going outside and reapply every 2 hours or more often if you're sweating or swimming. Don't forget to apply sunscreen to all exposed areas, including your face, neck, hands, and ears. Wear protective clothing. In addition to sunscreen, wearing protective clothing can also help protect your skin from the sun's harmful rays. Look for clothing that has a UV, ultraviolet protection factor, rating of 50 plus to ensure maximum protection. This type of clothing is specially designed to block UV rays and prevent them from penetrating the fabric. A wide-brimmed hat can also help protect your face and neck from the sun. If you're going to be in the water, consider wearing a rash guard or swim shirt to provide extra protection. Stay hydrated. Drinking enough water is important for overall health, but it's also important for your skin. When you're dehydrated, your skin can become dry, flaky, and dull. That's why it's important to drink plenty of water throughout the day, especially when you're spending time outdoors. If you're going to be doing strenuous activity or spending a lot of time in the sun, bring a water bottle with you and make sure to drink water regularly. Moisturize regularly. Spending time outdoors can dry out your skin, so it's important to moisturize regularly to keep it hydrated. Look for a moisturizer that is specifically designed for your skin type and apply it to your face and body after showering or bathing. If you're going to be spending a lot of time in the sun, consider using a moisturizer that contains SPF to provide extra protection. Exfoliate once a week. Exfoliating once a week can help remove dead skin cells and keep your skin looking bright and healthy. Look for a gentle exfoliating scrub that is specifically designed for your skin type and use it once a week to remove any buildup. Be careful not to over-exfoliate, as this can irritate your skin and cause redness or inflammation. Avoid smoking. Smoking can have a negative impact on your skin, causing premature aging, wrinkles, and a dull complexion. If you're a smoker, consider quitting or reducing your smoking to help improve the health of your skin. Take care of your lips. Your lips are also prone to damage from the sun and wind, so it's important to take care of them as well. 
Look for a lip balm that contains SPF and apply it regularly throughout the day. If your lips become dry or chapped, use a gentle lip scrub to exfoliate and then apply a moisturizing lip balm to keep them hydrated. Use a facial mist. A facial mist can help keep your skin hydrated and refreshed throughout the day. Look for a mist that contains soothing ingredients like aloe vera or rose water and spray it on your face whenever you need a quick pick-me-up. Take a break from the sun. If you're spending a lot of time outdoors, it's always necessary to take a break from the sun. The sun is strongest between 10 a.m. and 4 p.m., so try to limit your time outdoors during these hours. If you're going to be outside for an extended period of time, try to find shade or take breaks in air-conditioned or shaded areas. This can help prevent sunburn and heat exhaustion. Consider using a face mask. Face masks are a great way to provide extra protection for your skin, especially when you're spending time in polluted or dusty areas. Look for a mask that is designed to filter out pollutants and particles, and make sure it fits snugly on your face. You can also make your own face mask using natural ingredients like honey, avocado, or oatmeal. These ingredients can help soothe and hydrate your skin, leaving it looking and feeling healthy. Get plenty of rest. Getting enough rest is important for your overall health, but it's also important for your skin. When you're tired, your skin can look dull and tired as well. Make sure to get enough sleep each night, and if you're feeling tired during the day, take a quick nap or rest in a shaded area. Eat a healthy diet. Eating a healthy diet can also help improve the health of your skin. Make sure to include plenty of fruits and vegetables in your diet, as well as lean proteins, whole grains, and healthy fats. Avoid eating too much processed or fried foods, as these can contribute to skin problems like acne and premature aging. Use natural remedies. There are many natural remedies that can help improve the health of your skin. For example, Aloe vera can help soothe sunburned skin, while tea tree oil can help prevent acne. Do some research and experiment with natural remedies to find what works best for your skin. Don't forget to relax. Stress can have a negative impact on your skin, causing breakouts, wrinkles, and other problems. Make sure to take time to relax and de-stress each day whether it's through meditation, yoga, or just taking a walk in nature. Use a gentle cleanser. When you spend a lot of time outdoors, it's important to make sure you're cleansing your skin properly. However, harsh cleansers can strip your skin of its natural oils and cause irritation. Instead, look for a gentle cleanser that is designed for your skin type. This can help remove dirt and oil without damaging your skin. Exfoliate regularly. Exfoliating your skin can help remove dead skin cells and promote cell turnover, which can keep your skin looking bright and healthy. However, be careful not to overdo it, as too much exfoliation can damage your skin. Look for a gentle exfoliating scrub or use a chemical exfoliant like alpha-hydroxy acids, AHAs, or beta-hydroxy acids, buzz. Start by exfoliating once a week and adjust as needed based on how your skin responds. Use a serum. Serums are a great way to deliver active ingredients directly to your skin. Look for a serum that is formulated to address your specific skin concerns, whether that's fine lines and wrinkles, dark spots, or dehydration.
The combination of Chinese fashion and cultural elements, such as folk tales, tavern customs, and imperial culture, has been a powerful force in the world of fashion for centuries. In China, the traditional style of dress has been preserved for generations, and this has been reflected in the fashion of the country. In the early days of Chinese fashion, traditional garments were made from silk, cotton, and wool. These fabrics were often dyed in bright colors and decorated with embroidery, giving them a unique look and feel. In addition, traditional garments were often layered, with multiple layers of clothing being worn at the same time. This gave the garments a luxurious and sophisticated appearance. As Chinese fashion evolved, it began to incorporate elements of folk tales, tavern customs, and imperial culture. Folk tales often featured characters wearing traditional garments, and this helped to popularize the style. Similarly, tavern customs, such as the tea ceremony, were often depicted in paintings and other works of art. Finally, imperial culture, such as the use of dragon motifs and other symbols, was often seen in Chinese fashion. Today, Chinese fashion continues to be heavily influenced by these cultural elements. Many modern Chinese garments feature traditional motifs, such as dragons and phoenixes, as well as traditional fabrics and colors. In addition, many modern Chinese fashion designers draw inspiration from traditional folk tales and customs. Overall, the combination of Chinese fashion and cultural elements has been an important factor in the evolution of fashion in China. From traditional garments to modern designs, Chinese fashion has been heavily influenced by these cultural elements, and this has helped to make it one of the most popular fashion styles in the world. Here is a 1,000-word paragraph in English about the fusion of Chinese fashion and cultural elements such as folklore, customs, and mainland cultural influences. Chinese fashion is renowned for its rich history and heritage, but in recent decades, it has begun to incorporate cultural influences from beyond China's borders. There is a blending of traditional Chinese style with elements from folklore, customs, and mainstream culture of mainland China. This fusion represents China's increasingly globalized and cosmopolitan identity, while still honoring its imperial past and regional diversity. For example, Chinese wedding dresses now often feature phoenix motifs, a symbol of beauty, grace and good luck in Chinese mythology. The phoenix was once an imperial symbol, but now adorns bridal gowns to bring good fortune to newlyweds. Dragon motifs are also popular, representing power and strength, as well as imperial authority. These mythical creatures fuse histories ancient and modern. Traditional Chinese robes and dresses also include embroidery depicting scenes from classical Chinese novels like Journey to the West. Scenes from popular contemporary dramas and movies are also worked into silk brocade and lace. There is a mix of traditional folk art and popular, mainstream themes. Regional minority styles are also combined, representing China's ethnic diversity. Hairstyles too blend ancient traditions with modern flair. Q hairstyles recall the imperial past, but are reimagined with bright colors and asymmetrical cuts. Lotus seeds and jasmine flowers, symbols of purity and grace, are woven into new braids and buns. Natural and symbolic motifs keep traditions alive while adopting a fresh, youthful spirit. Even Chinese shoes, like silk brocade slippers and ornate bound feet shoes, feature whimsical designs including cherubs, mushrooms, and whimsical animals. Red, a traditional color of good fortune, plays against patterns of towering skyscrapers, symbolic of a modern China's progress. Micro-trendy details frequently change, but these deep-rooted cultural elements remain. The combination of Chinese fashion with cultural elements such as folklore, 
customs, and mainland culture has been an ongoing trend in the fashion industry. In recent years, Chinese fashion designers have been incorporating these cultural elements into their designs, creating unique and innovative pieces that are both stylish and meaningful. One of the most prominent cultural elements that have been incorporated into Chinese fashion is folklore. Chinese folklore is rich with stories and legends that have been passed down from generation to generation. These stories often feature mythical creatures such as dragons, phoenixes, and unicorns, which have become symbols of power, strength, and good fortune in Chinese culture. Chinese fashion designers have been incorporating these mythical creatures into their designs, creating intricate patterns and embroidery that pay homage to these legends. In addition to folklore, Chinese fashion designers have also been incorporating customs and traditions into their designs. One example of this is the qi pao, which is a traditional Chinese dress that originated in the 1920s. The qi pao has been a staple in Chinese fashion for decades, and designers have been incorporating modern twists into their designs to make them more contemporary. For example, some designers have been incorporating traditional embroidery techniques into their qi pao designs. While others have been experimenting with different fabrics and textures to create new and unique looks. Another cultural element that has been incorporated into Chinese fashion is mainland culture. Mainland culture refers to the culture of mainland China, which is distinct from the cultures of Hong Kong and Taiwan. Mainland culture is known for its simplicity, elegance, and practicality, and these characteristics have been reflected in Chinese fashion. Chinese fashion designers have been using clean lines and simple silhouettes to create minimalist designs that are both timeless and chic. Chinese fashion has a long and rich history that spans thousands of years. Over the centuries, it has been influenced by a variety of cultural factors, including folklore, customs and traditions, and mainland Chinese culture. In this essay, we will explore the ways in which Chinese fashion has incorporated these cultural elements, and how they have helped to shape the country's unique sense of style. One of the most notable ways in which Chinese fashion has been influenced by cultural factors is through the incorporation of folklore and mythology. Many traditional Chinese garments feature imagery and symbols that are drawn from ancient stories and legends. For example, the dragon and phoenix, two powerful symbols of Chinese mythology, are often depicted on formal wear such as wedding dresses and robes worn by officials. These designs not only showcase the wearer's appreciation for traditional Chinese culture but also highlight their social status and power. In addition to folklore, Chinese fashion has also been shaped by customs and traditions. For example, the qi pao, a form-fitting dress that is often worn for formal occasions, is a classic example of Chinese fashion that has been influenced by traditional customs. The dress is typically made from silk or cotton and features a high collar, slits on the sides, and intricate embroidery. France has a long and proud history of traditional garments, dating back to the Middle Ages. Throughout the centuries, French fashion has evolved and changed, but many of the traditional garments remain popular today. From the iconic beret to the classic Breton shirt, traditional French garments are still worn with pride by many people throughout the country. In the early days of French fashion, traditional garments were often made from wool and linen. These fabrics were often dyed in bright colors and decorated with intricate patterns, giving them a unique look and feel. In addition, traditional garments were often layered, with multiple layers of clothing being worn at the same time. This gave the garments a luxurious and sophisticated appearance. As French fashion evolved, 
it began to incorporate elements of modernity. The traditional garments were often updated with new fabrics and colors, as well as modern silhouettes and cuts. This gave French fashion a unique and contemporary look. Today, French fashion continues to be heavily influenced by traditional garments. Many modern French garments feature traditional motifs, such as stripes and polka dots, as well as traditional fabrics and colors. In addition, many modern French fashion designers draw inspiration from traditional garments, such as the beret and the Breton shirt. Overall, the traditional garments of France have been an important factor in the evolution of fashion in the country. From traditional garments to modern designs, French fashion has been heavily influenced by these traditional garments. And this has helped to make it one of the most popular fashion styles in the world. French fashion is renowned for its grace, flair, and bearing the imprint of French culture and history. Traditional French clothing in particular has evolved significantly while still maintaining its signature style and panache. Items like the beret, blazer, little black dress, and converse sneakers have become global fashion staples, rooted in French heritage. The beret, for example, originated in 16th century Spain, but was adopted by the French military in the 19th century and popularized as a fashion accessory. Today, berets come in a range of colors, materials and styles, from casual cotton to formal wool, yet they retain the basic shape that epitomizes French chic. The little black dress was popularized in France in the early 20th century and came to symbolize sophistication, mystery, and allure. Versions now range from mini-length sheath dresses to floor-length gowns, demonstrating the timelessness and versatility of the original Parisian design. The blazer also evolved from military uniforms but transitioned into a polished garment suitable for work or evenings out. Like the beret, it represents French flair for lively yet restrained style. Converse sneakers were first sold in France in the early 1900s, championed by sports brands and adopted by fashionable youth. Today, they are a ubiquitous street-style staple, a symbol of rebellious nonconformism with French panache. Runway shows frequently feature converse high tops and low tops in festive colors and patterns, showing they can achieve high fashion status while remaining true to their lowering roots. Traditional clothing like the peasant blouse, tartan plaid skirt, ballet flats and fingerless gloves have also endured, demonstrating the eternal chic of French country style. Parisian fashion houses frequently reference rustic and equestrian influences in their designs, bringing a touch of countryside coziness to the city. There is a mix of casual, sporty and formal vibes, as well as high and low cultural influences, showcasing France's sartorial spirit. In summary, French fashion has a heritage of balancing rebellion and refinement, simplicity and opulence, and global trends with roots in cultural tradition. Iconic pieces, from little black dresses to berets and converse, have transcended their original purpose to become universally recognized symbols of French panache, style and allure. They represent France's fashion leadership on the global stage while honoring the historic sartorial spirit of Paris. French clothing is quintessential chic and always with an rebellious streak. France is a country with a rich cultural heritage, and its traditional clothing has played a significant role in shaping its fashion industry. Over the years, traditional French clothing has evolved and adapted to changing fashion trends, while still retaining its unique and timeless style. 
One of the most iconic traditional French clothing items is the beret. The beret has been a staple in French fashion for centuries, and it has become synonymous with French culture. Originally worn by shepherds in the Pyrenees Mountains, the beret was later adopted by French artists and intellectuals in the early 20th century as a symbol of their bohemian lifestyle. Today, the beret is still a popular fashion item in France, worn by both men and women of all ages. Another traditional French clothing item that has become iconic is the Breton shirt. The Breton shirt originated in the Brittany region of France in the 19th century and was originally worn by sailors. The shirt is characterized by its navy and white stripes, which were designed to make sailors more visible in case they fell overboard. Today, the Breton shirt is a popular fashion item in France and around the world, worn by both men and women as a classic and versatile piece. In addition to the beret and Breton shirt, traditional French clothing also includes the trench coat, the little black dress, and the Chanel suit. The trench coat was invented by Thomas Burberry in the early 20th century and was later made popular by Hollywood stars such as Humphrey Bogart and Audrey Hepburn. The little black dress was famously designed by Coco Chanel in the 1920s and has since become a staple in every woman's wardrobe. The Chanel suit, which was also designed by Coco Chanel, is a timeless and elegant piece that has become a symbol of French style and sophistication. In recent years, traditional French clothing has continued to evolve and adapt to changing fashion trends. French fashion designers have been incorporating traditional elements into their designs, creating unique and innovative pieces that are both classic and modern. For example, some designers have been incorporating Breton stripes into contemporary designs. While others have been experimenting with new materials and textures to create updated versions of traditional French clothing. Overall, traditional French clothing has played a significant role in shaping the country's fashion industry. From the beret to the Chanel suit, traditional French clothing items are timeless and iconic, and they continue to inspire fashion designers around the world. As French fashion continues to evolve, we can expect to see even more innovative and exciting designs that incorporate traditional French elements. France is known for its rich history and culture, and this is reflected in its traditional clothing. These garments have been worn for centuries and are a key part of the country's cultural heritage. In this essay, we will explore the history and evolution of traditional French clothing, as well as their place in modern fashion. One of the most iconic traditional French garments is the beret.